What is up everyone? Welcome back to Getting Out of Bed with Micah where I take you along with me on my journey of growing in discipline through getting up early in the morning and starting my day off in a productive, successful way so I can then build on that throughout the rest of my day. Uh, so today it is Monday. Um, I went to get, went for getting up at like five today. Um, that's my overall goal is I'm thinking like five is gonna be a good time for me to get up. Um, got up at like 5.30, 5.35, so not too awful terrible. Um, Gave me enough time to be able to do my morning walk, obviously, as I'm doing that right now. Um, I really love starting my day off with a walk. Um, I love walking in general. It's like my absolute favorite time to spend with God, to just kind of talk and work through things and process life and, you know, deal with different things going on and everything. And, you know, it gives me a little bit of um, exercise in the morning because I feel like that's important um, to be proactive to be doing things and that's you know kind of the goal of the mornings is to be able to invest into myself um ooh, here comes the car yay i'm gonna look weird but that's okay <laughs> um but it's kind of be able to invest into myself um you know physically mentally and spiritually and so you know the main focus is the spiritual side because my relationship with god is the number one thing in my life um but it is important to invest in myself physically and mentally as well and so walking is one of the ways that I can do that. So super happy I'm able to do this today. Um, great way to start off the day. Um, so I'll do this for the next few minutes and then I'll roll in, get my smoothie going, get my word time in, and see what else I have time for today. So yeah, yeah. All right, I have completed my morning things. Um, you know, got my walk in, my smoothie, my Bible reading. Um, was able to do some push-ups. You know, so that was really cool. Um, and then I was able to watch some videos on you know vlogging and videoing and you know editing and all these different things. Um, you know, and so I was able to hit all the points this morning, which was really awesome. You know, the spiritual side, the physical side, and the mental side, learning new things and all of that. Um, so really happy with how t this morning went. Um, in my Bible reading today reading in Acts chapter 10 and 11, um, we see here something really cool to me. Um, and this is the first time that the church realizes that Jesus is about Gentiles too, because, you know, uh, up to this point, there's only been two people groups, and that's the Jews and the Gentiles, the people of God and the people who are not of God. And, you know, God has had to isolate to himself a certain group of people because of the barrier of sin that until Jesus came and all could be saved, he had to, you know, isolate and set apart a specific group of people and so they couldn't interact with the people around them. And so now finally we see God be able to remove this barrier, but it's something that has been ingrained in these people for a very long time. And so, you know, God shows up to Peter and he's like, all right, you're gonna go to this house and don't worry about it, it's gonna seem weird, but don't worry about it. Don't call unclean what I've made clean. And so Peter goes there and these Gentiles um, are saved and they get filled with the Holy Spirit and speaking in tongues, they get baptized. Peter's like, okay, but it causes this conflict in the body. It's where he, when he comes back, the other believers are like, whoa, 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 you know, we're not supposed to interact with the Gentiles. And Peter's like, I realize that, but, you know, God said that I shouldn't call unclean what he's made clean and that he is for all people. And that was made evident to me by him bestowing the gift of the Holy Spirit and salvation on these Gentiles. And so all of a sudden, this, this mindset has completely shifted. It's been set once and for all that Jesus is for all people people and I absolutely love this. I love watching this play out and how God works with his people and teaches us and shows us and grows us um, to become more and more like him because he is loving everyone all the time and that is what we are called to do is to love people exactly where they are and then allow him to bring them out of where they are into the life that he has for them. So super you know hype about that. Um, awesome word this morning. Um, so yeah, uh, gonna get ready for work. Um, I've got a meeting tonight that I'm super excited about. Can't tell you what it's about yet. Um, I will be able to eventually, um, but really excited for that. Um, but yeah, so that'll be it for today's Getting Out of Bed with Micah. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments. Um, subscribe if you want to see more of me. And always remember that you are important, that you are valuable, that you matter, that Jesus loves you, and so do I. And I will see you next time. Toodaloo! Bye!